What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I am discussing Game Night, a brand new comedy that is probably one of the most surprising comedies I've seen in a very long time. And this is a film that I, I didn't have a lot of anticipation for. The trailers caught me, but I felt like this was going to be a movie that showed all the great moments in the trailers, which I hate seeing in comedies, but to say the least, the trailers really just show the bare minimum of what's happening in this film. That was a big surprise to me because this film is hilarious top to bottom, but the best thing about this film isn't that it's just funny. It's also very energetic and has a care. It carries a very intriguing concept and story that just like Clue or any other mystery movie would have. It also carries a lot of good comedy moments in it that are laugh out loud moments. I mean, there was three or four moments where I was laughing so loud that I mean, the whole audience was where I was missing out on what the characters were saying, which at times can be a con, but. It, other times it's not. I mean, this film works and fires on all cylinders for the comedy. It was a big surprise to me. Again, like I said, I didn't think I was going to laugh this much. And I thought I was going to have a lot of fun, which I did. But again, I was intrigued with the story and I was laughing a lot. A lot of the credit goes to one, the writers and the directors on this film. John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein are the director and writer on this film. And their writing credits, they have some minors in it, but... The thing about these two guys is that they did make they did write the script for Spider-Man Homecoming, which I really liked the script in it. Then they wrote and directed this film, and I remember they actually got announced that they were, or it's rumored that they're going to be directing the Flash film. And after seeing this film, I got to say, I am so pumped to see the Flash point or whatever they decide to do with the Flash film, because the script is so well done that it's intrigued you through the whole story, and that even though the film, it carries a lot of comedy in it, the film carries a lot of intense moments as well. Which, me sitting here saying you'd be like this is a comedy you're not supposed to be intense no there's moments where it is very intense and the way that the camera and the way that the film is shot is so different that i've never seen in a film like this before say any comedy or action film i've never seen it it's very uniquely styled to it, and that's very awesome to see i it makes me intrigued to see i can totally see why warner brothers said hey here's the flash film go make it the way that this film was made you see all the different camera angles being shot you see all the different editing styles that they used and the thing that's really cool about this film is sometimes it makes the movie look like a game board sometimes when the camera's moving around you're like hey like this seems like monopoly or the game of life and that and that's so cool because then it just slowly seamlessly moves into the picture as it's just the normal movie and it's like wow I, I like, can't even tell the difference. The cast is the reason that you have for this film. I mean, Jason Bateman is an all-star actor. I love him in everything he does. He can be, do comedy, he can do drama, and he fits both those roles in here. And of course, Rachel McAdams is adorable as hell, and she is, has some of the best moments and best lines in this film is too. If you guys don't know what this movie's about, well, it's pretty much about these two couples, played by Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, who are obsessed with Game Night. They bring their friends, and of course, Jason Bateman's brother happens to come into town and say, hey, like, I'm going to host Game Night tonight, and a murder mystery ensues. What's real? What's fake? That's what you have to find out. And that goes another thing to the script, is that this film had a lot of twists and turns and people showing up that I did not expect to see in this film. Seriously, so going back to the cast, I mean, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman do are the leading stars but seriously the supporting cast is what seriously makes this film they are all amazing and but there is one big standout for me and that is jesse plemons the guy has shown up in breaking bad this guy has shown up in black mirror and a ton of other things now and this guy is such a good supporting actor that i love seeing when he pops up and he has very wicked humor this guy knows what he's doing and he has some of the most funny moments in this film and i i just have to give a big shout out to jesse plummins again that doesn't take away from anything else in the film any of the other actors because everyone has a moment to shine and it, it was awesome I, I know i keep saying awesome i know i keep saying this is funny because this film is it's an awesome entertaining time at the movies that really surprised me and deep down inside i was like wow i'm really enjoying game night this is such a fun film that i said hey I'm going to go see it again this weekend. And watching the trailers, I would have never been saying this, but I hope I hope I'm not the only one thinking this about Game Night. Game Night is a surprising comedy, probably one of the most surprising comedies of the last few years. I mean, between Girls Trip last year and now this film, I'm like I, I think comedy is having a full comeback. I, I hope this is the year that we get some more comedies that are very surprising like this. At the end of the day, I enjoyed Game Night. It had twists, it had turns. The way the movie was shot gives me so much hope and excitement for the Flash film. And in the end, I'm really excited to see what this director and writer do next. Even if they don't go onto the Flash, do they go off and do something else? I'm excited to see what they do. After seeing the way they shot this film, after the way they directed this film, and all the good comedy moments in here that made me laugh out loud. I mean, there's one moment in here that I was dying laughing, and it's one scene between Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman, and it has to do with a gunshot. 
I'll just say that. I'll just put it there. You've probably seen a little bit tidbits of it in the trailer, but I'll just put it there. With all that said, I'm going to give Game Night a B+. Again, I cannot insist on going and seeing this film because this film is so energetic, so much fun, and just an entertaining time at the movies that I think everyone is going to have a ton of fun or find some movement in here to have fun with. Again, the thing I like that is this film didn't rely on raunchy humor. It does have raunchy humor in it, but in the end of the day, it was very much an R-rated comedy to be an R-rated comedy. When it had to use the R-rated moments, it used it. When it didn't have to, it didn't. And it in the end of the day, there's some great moments in here that makes me want to go see the film again. Tell me, guys, what do you guys think about Game Night? Are you excited for it? Are you not? Are you kind of like, eh, I don't really care to see Game Night? Comment down below and tell me what are your guys' thoughts about Game Night. That's what's important here, and I can't wait to talk with you guys about this film. Of course, guys, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Can't wait to talk with you guys all about movies. And also, go check out all my social media links down below. If you guys want to talk more movies, hit me up on Stardust, Twitter, or even Instagram. And before we get going, make sure to go check out also Sam Sean Films, of course. If you guys don't know about this website, it's a website that I'm a part of where you guys get to check out advanced movie screens like Game Night or Red Sparrow or even Annihilation. You guys can easily win in to go see some of those films. So make sure to go check us out down below. Plus, of course, guys, until next time, make sure to have a great game night and, of course, stay classy.